A beloved local DJ leaves behind loyal fans and loving colleagues. Big Ron O'Brien from WOGL Radio died early this morning. CBS 3's Robin Rieger shows us how friends are remembering him tonight. Another day to enjoy the greatest hits of the 60s and 70s. Big Ron was the my... booming voice of Big Ron O'Brien, whose nostalgic afternoon radio show accompanied plenty of drivers on their ride home from work on our sister station, 98.1 WOGL, has been silenced. The 56-year-old Brian died early this morning from complications of pneumonia. He had been sick for almost two months. We were all stunned because we thought he was coming back. Morning jock Ross Britton says the WOGL family is heartbroken and planning a tribute to the legendary jock whose personality and knowledge of music brought him a loyal following. Today's Beatle worship begins with the... Ron was the quintessential radio personality. He, you know, he was one of those um, picturesque jocks from the mid-70s that everybody remembered from his years at WFIL. O'Brien started his radio career in high school, landed his first big job in the 1970s in Kansas City, and from there worked in large markets in Los Angeles, New York, and several times in Philadelphia. He came to WOGL in 2002. He loved music. He loved to entertain on the radio. He loved to talk to people. All right, who's this? Kim. And where are you from? O'Brien's last show was March 24th. No one knew it would be his last. Coming up next, 98.1 WOGL. See you, bye. And WOGL listeners will certainly miss Big Ron O'Brien's signature sign-off, his trademark Fab Four at Four, and the Forgotten 45. Big Ron O'Brien is survived by his mother. Funeral services are now being planned. In Philadelphia, I'm Robin Rieger, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.